And Wellity, Wellity, welcome folks, welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil. I am Grandmaster Scotty, and once again joined by... Ahem, hi again guys. So as you remember, may remember last time, we kind of got killed. Yeah. Like, very graphically killed. <laughs> very realistic. So I had to run all the way back here and solve... Oh, I thought I killed you. <laughs> stop <laughs> being... Stop, stop to stop being. <laughs> Okay, okay. Oh, great, that's a good way to start. <laughs> <laughs> now you know why we save state. Yes. <laughs> so, gonna load that. And have another go. <laughs> Yay! Now we know that he's alive. Yes, at least we know that now. That was a bit of a surprise. Okay. Mm. Pew! Aww. A little more. I'm just wasting bullets. Oh, come on! Oh my god. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna heal up before something terrible happens. Good idea. Okay, I'm gonna run over here. He's gonna jump. Ow. Okay, around the corner. Come on. Got him. Suck it, Hunter. Yes! Can't hunt for nothing. <laughs> okay, now we're going to be going back to that save room that we were in originally. Because we're going to pick up the grenade launcher again. Ooh. Or bazooka, I mean. Whatever it's meant to be. The thing that we <laughs> filled with fire. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's a certain fight that's coming up and... Oh no, I want to scream. <laughs> Well, if you scream, it would probably get some good reactions out of people. <laughs> okay, we're going to ignore the first aid spray, because that's just going to bring down our score if we use it. Okay, yeah. put away the magnum, take out the bazooka, and we're going to take out some acid rounds as well. Nice. Okay, I think, don't think we need the armor key, but we do need the helmet key. And I think one full heal item will do as well. Okay, combine those up. And away we go to adventure. Adventure time. Adventure. Ah, <laughs> oh, stairs. Do you like the fact that we count all the stairs as we go up? It what? You see, with how slow Jill walks up the stairs, like she's counting them. Yeah. Once, two step. Luckily, these steps we don't have to load our way up. We can just go. No boy, who's that? What do you see up there? Oh my god, what is that? It's, uh, is that Mr. Hunter? <laughs> We're gonna try and shoot him in the back. Mm -hmm. Get a little closer. Mm -hmm. A little two step. Uh, no, 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 no. Pew! Ow. <laughs> oh my god. There's, I don't like when they jump. Down, Down boy. <coughs> Bulldog. Okay, luckily nothing around this corner. So all's good on that front. Okay, good. Through the nice blue door this time. And we want this door if I'm right. You have used helmet key. And that's the last use of the key. Key is useless now. That's not a nice thing to say. Yeah, hard to key is feeding. No, no, not gonna heal. Because we're definitely going to need that, so we take our bazooka. Oh god, it's a fancy red door. I wonder how long it took to make that door. Oh. I don't like those tiles, no. I'm pretty sure it's, a, it's like, is this, would you say this is more bathroom or kitchen? Ah, uh, TV kitchen, normal bathroom maybe? Ooh. Getting to the fancy d descriptions, are we? <laughs> Oh, piano. Ooh, let's see if we can play this piano. Ooh, just looking at the keys. Oh my, oh my god, that's disgusting. Yeah, that's not a friendly snake. No, it doesn't look good. And just bit a hole in the floor. Oh my god. Can we kill it? You, what are you <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, you... Okay. I don't like Ow. this one. Oh. Ow, how do you hit me? I'm gonna set you on fire. 
Uh -huh. I don't care if I'm going at two frames a second. Ow. Oh, I think we got it. Oh, I'm gonna heal just in case. Yeah, what an idiot. Okay, did we get him? Mm. Nope, we didn't get him. No, no, no. Okay, we got Pelt in the Bastard now. Oh, I missed. Oh! Got him! You, 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 yeah. Suck it, Snake! Ha! Oh, wow. That's a melty snake. Now, do not step. Oh, ah. my God. The minute I say do not step in it, you step. <laughs> step all up in the snake. <laughs> so, let's go see. Have a look at the hole. Uh, it's too dark to see anything. Ooh, hmm. some, someone coming. Oh, hey, Jill. Did you kill a snake? <laughs> Jill. Have you found anything interesting? No, just a giant snake. Yes, but I can't see very well. How about going down to check by yourself? Going down to check I by have myself. A rope here. Sure, that's a good thing to do. Oh dear. Great idea. Well, then I'll try to go down using the rope. Very intelligent. Wait. Wait. Okay, so Barry's sending down a rope. Don't know where he got the rope. No. So down the rope we go. This should be fun. Whoop. That wasn't good. Hey! And now we've no chance gone. of getting back up. Now I've done it. Yes, you have Sorry, done it, Barry. Yes. Wait. You get something around. I'll go and get another rope. Okay, so Barry's Barry? off to get another rope. Barry! Now, if we actually do want to have the best ending in this game, we do need to wait for Barry. Okay. So we have to actually wait for him to come back. But before we do, I'm just going to activate this. There's a switch below. Will you push it? Yes, we will. Yes. So that's going to activate that. But if we go down there, Barry's just going to wonder where we've gone and run off. So we're going to wait for him to come back. Yeah. And... I don't know. How's the weather? <laughs> oh. Uh. oh. He's back. Found a rope hey. pretty quickly. It's almost like he did that on purpose. Hey! Are you there, Jill? Fully. Grab the rope! Now don't drop this one. Or you could, you know, just tie it to the piano. That would help. I'm sorry, Jill. You should be. I didn't know that was going to happen. Sorry. I was really careless. Are you okay, Barry? No, Barry, you are not okay. Maybe you're getting tired. No, I'm all right. Don't worry. And yeah, this audio is going all over the place. Jill, I've got Great. something. Now, this is the reason why we waited around for Barry. We got a pass number. Oh. Very important, because we can use that to get into a certain room that we couldn't get into if we didn't have it. That was the... Uh, Thank you. Pass code, was it? Take this yep. then. Life's good. Okay, so Barry's going to run off. And we're going to go down the hole. Woo! Okay, now the rope's tied down, so we're not gonna drop it or anything if we try it again. There's a ladder. Will you descend it? Yes, I will. Exciting ladder action. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do a save state here, because we have no healing items and we're down to half health. And oh boy, we've got zombies. Oh, okay. And all we've got is shotguns and two <laughs> rounds. Come around the corner. Oh, no, you don't. Oh. Try and pull the jump scare on me. <laughs> so, we've got some shells. And does a zombie come in this way? Nope. Nope. Does he come in this way? Nope. Yeah. Where are you going? I can't see! <laughs> Don't leave! I just want a hug! 
Maybe a little chew. Just a little. <laughs> I'm loving that way. <laughs> Just a little. Ooh, someone's chewing on something. Oh, wow. I'm just gonna ignore that. Not sure about you. Just pretend we didn't see that. Walking away. Enjoy your lunch, guys. <laughs> and we unlocked it. We unlocked it. Got a very big metal door. And there's a kitchen. Wonder what we could find in here. It's not been... Yes. Not been used for a long time. You mean you mean to tell me zombies aren't cooks? An oven. Badly rusted oven. Aw. I was gonna take it home. Oh. Oh. What's going on here? Oh no, this is not good. Someone coming down the stairs. Oh god. Hunter. Okay, oh no, it's got an not. arm. And he can use a door. Oh no. Velociraptor. <laughs> and it's <coughs> a zombie. Oh. A lot of anti climaxes here. Yeah, that was a bit disappointing. <laughs> Although, fun fact in the original Resident Evil, at the original release, that is actually a super zombie. Oh. It takes three bazooka, that takes three shotgun shells to bring down. Wow. This one, he however, is not so super. No. He didn't have his coffee. He just showed us he can open a door. Yeah. Which is good. Just wanted to show off a little. Kind of proud of him. Then we shot him. Yeah. Putting the zombies in their place. If they start opening doors, they might start, you know, doing other things. <laughs> like working lifts. Oh, there is a lift. Okay, we're going to unlock that door, because that leads us back into the corridor in the main mansion, but we're not going to go through there for now. Instead, we're going to go down the stairs, and we're going to go to where that lift was. Mm -hmm. We're going to go up the fancy lift. Yes! Do fancy things. There's a zombie on the floor. Nice. Now, no! Ow! Oh! Oh my god! Get off my ankle! Boot! Let's boot your no. head off! <laughs> oh boy, we're on danger. Oh no. I'm gonna be safe staying a bit in this area, I believe. Well, it's gonna be exciting. Yes. <laughs> Very rusty lift. Fancy though. Fence fully rusty. Now. I'm kind of waiting for the elevator music to kick in. And okay. out. Okay. Of course. Come on, can you hard enough? Pew. Okay, you're in a safe state. Now, some may call this safe state abuse, but I call this I don't want to die and have to redo this all over again abuse. <laughs> I agree. Besides, you don't want to be sat here for four hours while I'm trying to come back to this area. <laughs> and, ooh, yeah. things. Stuff and things. We got... Ooh, explosive rounds. Explosive rounds. It's the best kind of round. Mm. Next to a round of cider. Hey! <laughs> I'll be here all night. Ooh, a battery. A battery. Now I can move the elevator in the courtyard. Now. All my problems are solved. Woo! We found a battery. Yay. Don't know why I'm sitting on that very, very cushioned chair. It's not as good as the first chair. No. No. Nothing will beat that chair. No. Okay, now where are we going? Oh, zombie! Ooh. Oh, I missed. And I can't see where I'm going. Oh, turn around. Come on. Here, zombie, zombie, zombie. <laughs> Some zombie treats for you. Hey! It's called buckshot. That's my zombie treat. Okay. 
And Ooh, we got herbs. Herbs. We need herbs. We have we have herbs on us, but Okay. Off you go. We're gonna take the herbs, and if I'm correct, this um, corridor here leads us back to where the pass um, passcode door works. So we can use this as like a shortcut if we need to. I like that. But we don't need to because we're amazing. We don't need shortcuts. Second. Well, you might need a shortcut. I don't. <laughs> Okay, so we're back at the full health. And we're gonna head back out. And there's another room that we need to investigate. Adventure! Adventure away! <laughs> Ooh, is that something? Ooh, more herbs! Yes! I'm gonna take that for safekeeping. In case, case of, you know, sudden head removal. Yeah, just, not the best. Just rub it on the on the stump, it will grow back. <laughs> so through the magical blue doors now. And ooh! Hello, sir. Yes, no! <laughs> Stop Four. it! Bad zombie. Ooh, a desk. See what's in the desk. Ooh, a desk. Desk is locked. Will you use the lockpick? Yes, we will. And what do we find? Magnum rounds! Ooh. We will take them. We will not use them, though. Because we will save them. Ooh. Another hidden door. What could be in here? And it is... Drum roll. A zombie! Nothing! <laughs> Let's see, an ink ribbon, we don't need that, because we've got the power of save states. Yeah, what else we got? Got a window. Windows I can nice. look over the courtyard from here. It's a helicopter port! Helicopter? If I could contact the other members from there. Ooh. So, Ooh. we found a place for the helicopter to land. Nice. Look. Not sure why I took the clip there. <laughs> seeing as we don't true. have a handgun. But, but that's, a pro that's a problem for another day. <laughs> See what else we can find. Maybe we can throw the bullets at him. Oh. Oh god. Damn you, camera. That didn't work. Just, nope. Dead. There yes. Ooh, we got a book. A scrapbook. Scrapbook. It's got like the zombies' pictures in it and everything. His first <laughs> time to the beach. The time he went to the Amsterdam. The time he went to the to the Amsterdam. <laughs> Not to be confused with Amsterdam. This is the Amsterdam. Shush. <laughs> <laughs> Raccoon times, May twenty seventh, nineteen ninety eight. Animal attack. Woman mutilated, May twentieth. Around 10 p.m., a 20-year-old young woman's body was found by a passerby on the left bank of Marble River in the Cider District of Raccoon City. Ooh, the Cider District. Nice. It's my district. <laughs> Raccoon police assume it to be a grizzly or other animals doing because there are teeth marks among the mutilated arms and left foot that show considerable power. Since she was wearing a hiking boot on her remaining foot, it has been determined she was attacked in the Arclay Mountains and fell into the river. They are hurrying to identify this woman. I don't know if she was going hiking in the mountains. Could be just wearing hiking boots as a fashion thing. Ah, sure. You're a woman, do you wear hiking boots all the time? I do not, but I know someone who does, so... You can say it's Maybe they're a thing. You can say it's them. Um, Raccoon Weekly, June 16th, 1998. Monsters in the Arclay Mountains? Some claim they've seen monsters in the Arclay Mountains. The monsters are supposedly about the, sa the same size as large dogs, and usually run in a pack as wolves do. So they're wolves. Yikes. Yeah, they're basically... <laughs> they, these, this may sound like a group of ordinary wild dogs, but these monsters are surprisingly fierce and hard to hunt. Or hard to hurt, even. They say these dogs won't bother you unless you wake them. 
So you smart readers should stay out of the Arclay Mountains for the time being. But if you're looking for adventure, check it out. You wanna try? What kind of newspaper is this? You wanna lose your life today, eh? <laughs> I guess, hey, we got a contest. Whoever loses <laughs> our arm first wins. <laughs> Raccoon Times, July 9th, 1998. Mystery on the Arclay Mountains. Mountain road blocked. Due to successive disasters in the Arclay Mountains, many of which caused by this newspaper, <laughs> the city authorities have decided to block the road leading to the foothills. At the same time, Raccoon Police intend to begin the search for lost people with the help of STARS team members. They expect great difficulty because of the vast size of the Arclay Mountains and the primeval forest that covers most of the area. Also, people are still reporting sightings of grotesque monsters in the mountains. Now, call me strange, but when I think Raccoon Police, is the first thing that comes to your mind A, a highly trained police force, or B, raccoons with hats? A cute little raccoon in a police outfit. <laughs> Definitely that. Little truncheon in hand. <laughs> so cute. So, oh, a book storage room. Full of books. And storage. And books. And a statue. With a button on it. That's not a button, is it? Mm, looks like a Roman... I think it's a, one of those Roman centurion things. Oh, okay. So we got a light. And will we, will we push the switch? Ta-da! It brought something to our attention. Maybe if we put the statue in front of it, it'll do something. That's just crazy talk. Pushing song. <laughs> push, push, push. Push, push, push to my loo. Push, push, <laughs> push to my loo. Ah. Oh. Mystery door. Mm -hmm. There's a thing. There's more books. Books. I think the main point of this game is we should all read more. Yeah. So buy we my new my new book today. Exactly. The book which will be written in ten years. Can't carry any more items, damn it. No, I shouldn't have picked up those bullets. Okay, what can I actually do here? That mm. worked. Hate to waste a her, but we need this. Well, you take the MO disc. MO disc. MO disc. MO disc, MO problems. <laughs> Anything else? Nope. So we got the disc, and I think this is a good place to end. I do too. Mm -hmm. So I have been Grandmaster Scott Hay, and I have been Autumn. And we thank you for watching. See you next Thanks, time. Guys. See you soon.